You are listening to... Listening to Nitro Game Injection.
Ooh, baby. Welcome to Nitro Game Injection. I am your host, Kyle J.C.R.B. And tonight, oh man, I got a lot of stuff going on. Kind of a, a weird horror theme cropping up here at the beginning, I guess. Y you'll see. It, 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 it kind of ties together, sort of. -ish. I don't know why exactly it ended up this way, but it did. So, Joshua Moore is starting us off there with a track called Boo Step from Super Mario World. That's featured on Joshua's new album, Arcade Attack. You can find that one over at joshuamorris.bandcamp.com. If you enjoy that track, I do recommend you check out the whole thing because uh, it's real. It's real good. It's like real, real good. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. It's real good. So, yeah, head on over there, joshuamores.bankcamp.com, and uh, and check it out, along with all of his other albums, because uh, they're also all really, really good. There's one thing about Joshua, and that is that uh, quality is, uh, is his game. And his songs are excellent, so check them out. If you like to, if you like to, if you like to jam, if you like to jam, so. This is Nitro Game Injection, as I said, I'm Kyle JCRB, and uh, I'm going to be with you for the next couple hours, bringing you some excellent video game tunes in the form of remixes, arrangements, uh, covers, and all of that fun, fun stuff. Some other stuff in here, too, you know? It's a lot of, it's a lot of good stuff, so. Dwelling of Duels is on board with a ton of tracks from the DOD PC versus console month that happened in December leading up to the uh, announcement of the results a week ago, I want to say. I think it was like the same time I was doing NGI, <laughs> roughly pretty close to it. So that was happening for the uh, uh, bonus stage stream weekend, doing a big uh, bonus duels stream. Uh, a MAGFest-like home experience, I suppose. So, okay, a, a convention. A dwelling, dwelling of Duels is own convention, which, I mean, hey, you know what? In this day and age, why not? Everyone should have their own convention. Why not? Unless you're, like, a horrible person, like, uh... <coughs> the guy currently running MAGFest. <coughs> anyway, uh, yes... <laughs> Dwelling of Duels had a giant turnout for PC versus console month, so I'm going to be playing a lot of those tracks spread throughout the show. Also, a lot of new stuff from Overclocked Remix and Qued, our friends over at remix.qued.org, RKO, uh, have a lot of stuff lined up from them as well, because why the heck not, you know? It's just, there's just, there's just too much stuff. Too much stuff. I have, how many songs do I have sitting in my queue to be, like, properly, like, prepped for the show? Uh, let's see. I currently have about, uh, 100 something singles. 107, I think. 108. And, uh, a soundtrack in there, too. And, yeah, it's, it's a lot. And I didn't even play anything from DoD's Jazz vs. Funk month because I completely forgot because last month was just insane and a lot of things happened, both good and bad. And it just kind of slipped under my, slipped out of my, uh, remembrance. I just forgot, you know? I just forgot. So, uh, I'll play some Jazz vs. Funk month stuff, uh, eventually. Eventually. But first... I'm gonna get to you with uh, the jazz or with the PC versus console month of Dwelling of Duels. Let's go ahead and just get started with the winner. Why not? We have the Tiberian Sons, aka Prince of Darkness, Connor Engstrom, and Travis Moberg coming together with an arrangement from Hollow Knight, a track called "This Is Halloween." Let's go ahead and get into it. Don't don't go away. It's Nitro Game Injection.
I told you guys we were starting out the show with kind of an evil thing going on. It's very, very evil. 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 Right there, you just heard Mega Beardo with the House of the Sludge Witch from King's Quest V. That was another one from Dwelling in Duels PC versus Console Month. Like I said, you're going to be hearing a lot of those tonight. That one got ninth place, and that one, of course, was representing Team PC. Team PC. Team PC. That's right. Team PC for the win. Actually, they were the win, even though Hollow Knight is on everything, but whatever. Ignore that. <laughs> Before Mega Beardo's uh, very evil track there. We had something called Force Sacrifice from Super 3D Noah's Ark. A metal take on the music from Super 3D Noah's Ark. A interesting game. It is a port of... Uh, what is it? Wolfenstein, yeah. Re well, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. The second Wolfenstein game. The, the first 3D one. And... Uh, it is reskinned for 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 Jesus. Well, for Noah, it wasn't reskinned for Jesus because Noah's before Jesus. If you read chronologically, anyway, <laughs> it's a it's a whole thing, you know. It's a whole thing. So that was the bitter roost with for sacrifice, which is an interesting song. For a game about Noah, but I mean, I guess did kind of sacrifice everything uh, in the story, you know. You know how it is. You know how it goes. I don't have to tell you, do I? Do I have to tell you the story of Noah's Ark? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I do not. Most likely. But I, I won't. I won't either. I won't. You'll have to go look that up on your own. Anyway, starting us off was the Tiberian Sons with This Is Halloween from Hollow Knight. That was another one representing Team PC, even though Hollow Knight's been released on literally everything at this point. And that was the winner of last month's Dwelling Duels PC versus Console Month. Nice, nice, very nice stuff. Speaking of that DOD, I got the DOD for you. Street Cleaner is back. Uh, Street Cleaner actually just released a uh, a game on Steam. I believe it's just called Street Cleaner the Game. I, I believe Street Cleaner the Video Game. Yeah, it's on Steam, and uh, I believe it's all a lot of it, if not all of it, was made by uh, Street Cleaner himself. So. There's a, it's a, it's got that stamp of approval in that it's literally made by the guy who makes music for Street Cleaner. The guy who literally is Street Cleaner. So, yes. Go check it out. It's on Steam for uh, a cool 15 bucks. It's very much in the style of a classic NES 3D, or NES 2D platformer. And uh, it's got some really nice animation and stuff going on. And the music, of course, is fantastic because uh, it's Street Cleaner. So, yeah. If you don't know Street Cleaner, Synthwave. Synthwave music artist from San Diego. And uh, in this game, you liberate San Diego. Well, I, I assume it, it's like a it's like a it's it's a video game version of San Diego. Maybe it's like Neo San Diego or something. I don't know. <laughs> You liberate them. So, yeah, go check it out. And, uh, have fun with it. It looks like a really cool game. I do want to play it. I wanna, I'd like to stream it one of these days, too. So, check it out. In the meantime, though, I'm going to play some Street Cleaner, who, uh, another, was another participant in Dwelling of Duels last month. The track from, uh, Revival Xanadu 2, a game I don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's for like the PC 88, PC 98 computer, so it technically represents Team PC, but uh, it's a very, very obscure game that I, I know nothing about, but whatever, it's fine. I don't need to know anything about the game to enjoy the music, so hey, you don't either. This song is called Revival Xanadu 2, Electric Boogaloo. I see what you did there, Mr. Cleaner, and I like it. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> 
Keep it here. It's a Nitro Game Injection.
Wee! That was Mackie right there with something from Qued. Remix.qued.org. Good friends at RKO. You should go check out that website. I do recommend it. Especially if you enjoy classic pre-IBM computer stuff. Particularly for the Commodore 64. But, you know, you know how it goes. That was Mackie with Cauldron 2. A game that I, I still don't know much about. <laughs> but again, you know, we got that uh, Halloween-esque type thing going on tonight. It's weird. It's, it seems to be a common thread lately in some of these more recent releases. So, I don't know. This, this show feels kind of darkish so far, you know? It's like a... I don't know. It's got that kind of mood to it. I'm okay with that, personally. Personally. Before that, we had Paper Coalescent with a really nice synthwave track from uh, Overclocked Remix. That was Amaranth's Night Ride remixing Final Fantasy IX. Really nice stuff there. I, I dig that one a lot. So, uh, an interesting uh, spin on the Final Fantasy IX soundtrack for sure. Uh, not necessarily have thought that uh, go in the synthwave direction with Final Fantasy IX, but I dig it. Very much so. And Street Cleaner starting us off there with something from the very obscure Revival Xanadu 2. Track called Revival Xanadu 2 Electric Boogaloo. Fantastic track. Lots of fun stuff. And hey, go check out Street Cleaner, the video game. Do it. Do it. It's on Steam. You, you should you should go do it. Just go, just go look at it and check it out because, you know, it's pretty cool. Street Cleaner's got his own game. As he should. Up next, I got a track for Purvis, but he's not even here. Purvis isn't here. I have a track specifically for him because this album just came out. And I'm like, hey, Purvis would like this. And he's not even here. Oh, man. Purvis, you've done it again. You've done it again. <sighs> I don't know what you've done, but you've done it again. <laughs> Uh, I can't even say anything because he's not even here. He's not here. He's, he's, he's even got to sleep. This little icon has a moon next to it. I mean, mine does too, but that's just because I'm a jerk and put myself in away mode permanently. <laughs> but no, he's not here. Ow, oh, Purvis. You, you've failed me for the first time. Okay, maybe there's been more than that, but that's okay. Oh, man. It's all right. No worries, Purvis. Maybe you'll hear this eventually. I'm playing this one for you. This is from a brand new Toho album put out by the uh, chiptune legend. C pretty much kind of a legend at this point, yeah? Uh, Plus Tech. So this particular album is called Phantasmagoria of FM, and it features a variety of Toho tracks, I believe. But the one I'm going to play is, uh, there's actually, this is actually kind of a split album because 10 tracks are from Plus Tech and five tracks are from, uh, artist Rumya. So this particular track is actually from Rumya, even though it's off of Plus Tech's album. So <laughs> kind of a weird thing going on there. <laughs> it's like a guest, a guest appearance on five tracks by Rumya. So. I really dig this one. It's a really nice uh, FM synth driven take. Uh, a bit more advanced. It's more along the lines of like the Eskatos soundtrack, which makes sense where you're talking plus tech here. So that's a very common, uh, common thing plus tech likes to do. So, and uh, these tracks in Remya are kind of in the same vein. So right now I do have a remix for you from uh, Mountain of Faith. This one's called Faith is for the Transient People. It's a very it's a very popular Toho song. I don't think it really needs much of an introduction. It's it's pretty commonly remixed. Maybe not as much as like UN Owen was her or anything, but uh it, it's up there. It's up there. So that's okay though. I still wanted to play it because I wanted to play it, dang it. Go check out the album. It's called Phantasmagoria of FM. And uh, I believe it's I believe it's just plustech.bandcamp.com. But the plus is written out, so it's P-L-U-S tech. T-E-K. P-L-U-S-T-E-K dot bandcamp dot com. Plus tech. And, uh, 
It is a uh, pay what you want album too, so that's also very nice if you are interested in uh, in grabbing it. And hey, why not check out some of Plus Tech's other albums too? You should, you should. And check out Ramya, because why not? Check out Ramya. I'm gonna check out a song from Ramya right now, and uh, I'll be back. So don't go away. It's Nitro Game Injection.
Nice. Right there, we had some about blink with a track called We're All Falling from none other than Lemmings. Thanks to that track for the inspiration of this week's uh, background music. It's particularly the Genesis version of Lemmings, which to be honest, uh, outside of the um, <laughs> Red Book audio version for the PC, probably the best sounding version of it. Uh, the Super Nintendo version's okay too. But uh, I went back, I, I checked out, I tried to listen to the uh, PC versions. There's the PC IBM version. I don't think it's uh, ad lib though. And, uh, but there were rips for um, the PC version and for the Tandy 1000 version. And the PC version sounds weird. Doesn't sound good. It's, it's not great. Um, and then the Tandy 1000 version sounds better, but still not quite there. Uh, not great either. So uh, I went with the Genesis version because it sounds good. It sounds good. I like it. And, uh, you know... I like some lemmings. I, I really, I really should play lemmings again. It's been so long, but I loved, I loved that game as a kid, and uh, I need to go back to it. I remember playing uh, the PC version of Lemmings actually at a friend's house, and I uh, was like, "Wow, this is really cool." It's a computer game. I had not played many computer games at that point, so it, it was something different. You know, it was, it was really cool. And, uh, eventually I remember renting Lemmings 2 for the Genesis, and I kind of remember being a little disappointed. I don't know why. I don't remember exactly why I was disappointed, but I remember being disappointed. Probably because I wanted the first game, and it wasn't quite the first game. I don't know. It was weird. I, did, I just don't remember being, like, really into Lemmings 2 so much, so. Loved the original, though. It's a ridiculously difficult puzzle game. It gets, gets really hard later on, so. But it's a lot of fun. And the music is great. So long as you're listening to it in, uh, <laughs> in certain contexts. Using certain sound chips and not others. Some sound chips do not play well with Lemmings music, so. Anyway, that particular track there from About Blank, We're, we're All Falling was uh, very much inspired by Twin Peaks, if you're, uh, if you're wondering. If you know Twin Peaks and you're like, what the heck, why does this sound like Twin Peaks? It's because it was inspired by Twin Peaks, so there you go. You got, you got your 90s all wrapped up into one. You got your lemmings and you got your Twin Peaks all right there from about blank, so. <laughs> Before that, we had Micah with The Empire from Panzer Dragoon. Micah is becoming like a staple on NGI. It, it helps that Micah releases a lot of music and it tends to be very good, so I, I just had to play that one, though, because, you know, Panzer Dragoon. I had to play some Panzer Dragoon. Freaking great, great game. Awesome soundtrack. So, yeah. And then Rumia started us off there with Faith is for the Transient People from uh, Toho Mountain of Faith. Another very good one. Quite like that one a lot. So, all right. Well, we've been kind of mm, hanging out with uh, the electronic stuff lately. You know, it, it, that block was maybe a little understated ish, kind of, especially the last song. So, let's go ahead and rock out, shall we? Let's rock out with Dusk featuring Mikitani. At Dusk is back after an injury that put him out of commission for quite a while. So it's really good to see Dusk back and rocking, rocking out. So we're going to go ahead and get into a new track from him. He's remixing Fall Guys. And this one's called Shred and Slip. Don't go away. It's Nitro Game Injection right here on the KNGI Network.
NGI.
Nice stuff there, right there. That was Underfill with Ocean Loader 5 Dunn Rockin'. Because, you know, it's composed by Jonathan Dunn, so it's it's called Dunn Rockin'. Because, yeah, you get it. You get it. <laughs> Ocean Loader version 5 was a, uh, a song that appeared in many, many ocean games for the Commodore 64. Because, well, I mean, that's, that's what... Commodore 64 games did. They spent a lot of time loading. So you know what? Why not have some awesome tunes to listen to while you're waiting for your game to load for five minutes or even longer, depending. <laughs> uh, Commodore 64. Uh, I love you, but man, you, you, you had some problems. You had some problems. Back in the day, we had to wait for our video games to load. Unless you were playing on console, then the thing was like, Oh, they happen instantly with cartridges! Ooh. It, it wasn't instant. It seemed instant for a lot of games, but it, it wasn't quite instant. Not in reality. Not in reality. Oh, well. <laughs> Before that, we had Creepu with a track called Star Cruiser from the game Star Cruiser. Uh, I believe that's a... Like a... Sega RPG style game? Technical RPG? I want to say... I don't know anything about it, but uh, I heard that song from Creepu, and I'm like, eh, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it, was on a, it was on the Genesis and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't know if it ever came out in the West, though. Might have. Might have. It was released in Japan. I don't know. Ported to the Mega Drive. Yeah. It's an RPG. It's, a, it's an RPG first person shooter. Really? In 1988? Wow, okay. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. I have to look more into that, so. Pretty, pretty neat. Not a, uh, not a tactical RPG like I thought for some reason, but hey, cool stuff. More obscure games on this episode. Before that, we had the antithesis of an obscure game. <laughs> a little game called Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. That was Dusk featuring Mikitani with Shred and Slip. Although, you know, that sounded like a Splatoon song. You can't fool me. I think that was from Splatoon. I think that was, I think it really, that's that's what it was really. It was a Splatoon song. They were just trying to say it was a, a Fall Guys song. Never mind that, you know, the Fall Guys sound. That sound is very similar, actually. <laughs> like, if you transplanted the music from one game into the other, it would still work. <laughs> well, you know, I can't go a single episode of NGI without playing something from my boy Sonic, you know? It's how things go around here. I just can't escape him. He is, he is permanently... Uh, is permanently part of my life in some way, in some fashion. He always will be, I think. <laughs> so I cannot, cannot get away from Sonic the Hedgehog. But what I will try and run away from as hard as I possibly can is Sonic 06. <laughs> but, you know, music's okay. So I'll, I'll take the music. I'll take the music with me, but uh, the rest of it, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Since I've been streaming games on, on Bumblecast Gaming, you know, it's Bumblecast, it's a show I co-host with the writer of the Sonic the Hedgehog comics for IDW, and most of the people there are like, y you should play Sonic 06, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not playing Sonic 06. I'm not playing Sonic 06. They've even tried to, like, come up with weird, um, uh, things, like... Uh, what is it? Like, <clears throat> if you lose, if you lose, that we, they want to, first of all, they want to play Sonic Shuffle, and then if I lose at Sonic Shuffle, I have to play Sonic 06 as my punishment. I'm like, I didn't agree to that. I didn't agree to that. No, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, no. No, I'm not playing Sonic 06. But I will listen to the music, and I will listen to Rexy's remix right here. This is an up updated, uh, remix an updated take on a track that she released actually quite a while ago as part of uh the sonic stadium music adventure 2012 so this one goes back nearly nine years 
And uh, it's a remix of the White Acropolis theme from Sonic 06. It's called Tactile Snowfall. It's all been reworked and it's all new, though. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it and check it out right here. Because it's Rexy with Sonic. That never happens. Rexy doesn't do Sonic. <laughs> I'm kidding. She does Sonic all the time. Let's go, let's go for it. Go, 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 go. Right here. NGI. <laughs>
That right there was Slagon with Oblique. Hoax me once, shame on you. Oblique, it's a uh, Commodore 64 demo that uh, was actually released just last year. So in 2020, new Commodore 64 demos are still a thing. Pretty, pretty rad. Slagon, of course, the uh, proprietor and the person behind the legendary Slay Radio. If you're a Commodore 64 music fan, Slay Radio, you, you should go check out Slay Radio. You should. You should. They're very good. So, great stuff there from Slagon. Quite like that one a lot. Before that, we had a track from Anonymous. I'm not sure if that actually is their artist name or if they're just, they don't know who it is. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the name they submitted under. I don't know. Or maybe it is truly someone who is anonymous. That was from the game Tomcat. That one's called Galata Remix. Another game I'm not familiar with for the uh, for the Commodore 64, but you know. Is it, is it like Afterburner? Does anybody know? <laughs> it's, it's got the Tomcat. It's F-14 Tomcat. Uh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, starting us off there was Rexy with Tactile Snowfall from Sonic the Hedgehog. No, not that Sonic the Hedgehog. The other one. That one. You know the one. <laughs> That's a new one from Overclocked Remix. That's actually a improved remake of her track from 2012. So, yeah. Always good to see Rexy crop up, though. Excellent stuff. So... We're going to rock out again, because why not? And hey, Jet Swole, I think, is here and listening currently. And uh, if he is, then uh, he should be pretty happy, because I'm going to play his song right he- right now from uh, Dwelling of Duels PC vs. Console Month. Got a track here from uh, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. Track titled Specialist. This particular track got uh, 14th place. Oh, there were a lot of tracks, actually, in Dwelling of Duels last month. Let me double-check and see how many entries I actually had. 27. Yeah, 27 main entries, and then... Let's see. Uh, four alternate entries, so... Lots of, lots of entries in that one. So there's plenty of stuff there, and honestly, going through them prior to the show, it was, like, really good across the board. I was rather impressed like even even down in the lower numbers you know sometimes you get a little rough sometimes you get a rough track in dod it happens it happens but man i was very very uh very pleased with most of them so yeah very very good month definitely worth uh worth your time to go check it out so without further ado it's jet swole time with specialist right here on ngi
before us, shimmering in the sunlight, lay that mystifying, incomprehensible city of an unknown world, Shangri-La, legendary city of Tibet. Right there was a really just a, a, a guy who's become a star in the video game music arrangement community, Eric WK. Like, holy crap, this guy is just, he's on fire lately, man. With uh, his recent album, Athletic Aesthetic, just being one of those things. It's like, holy crap, it's fantastic stuff. So that right there was Eric WK with a... a, a uh, Maybe not something everybody is quite into. Very, uh, very, uh, creative instrumentation. It actually kind of reminds me of Zuck, in a way. <laughs> Which would make some sense, actually. Uh, that was Kathmandu. Remixing the, uh, I believe it's the Game Boy Color version of Tintin in Tibet. Eric WK showing more of his love for, uh, Alberto Gonzalez. Yes, yes, very good stuff there. Before that was Dylan Legette with Ascension from the uh, Half-Life 1 unofficial remake, Black Mesa. Fantastic stuff. I need to play Black Mesa. I really do. Uh, I've never actually finished Half-Life 1. I finished Half-Life 2 and all of its subsequent episodes, but uh, I never finished Half-Life 1, so uh, Black Mesa would probably be a good excuse to do so. <laughs> and then maybe someday, when uh, VR gets down to reasonable prices, maybe I'll play uh, Half-Life Alex. Maybe. I'll, I'll think about it. We'll see. But yeah. Great stuff there from Dylan Jet from a game I really do need to play. I really want to play it. So uh, I really like that it's a... started out as sort of a fan remake, fan game. But then Valve gave him their blessing to actually make it a full-on uh, remake and to uh, charge for it. So it's like it's officially endorsed by Valve. It's a fan remake officially endorsed by Valve. So that's really cool. That's better than suing the, suing the pants off of them or threatening them with a lawsuit, at least, because that's lame. That's lame, Nintendo. That's lame, Square. That's lame. Be more like Capcom, who did the same thing with a sh Mega Man Cross Street Fighter and uh, Valve. Be more like, be more like them guys. Be more like them. Anyway, starting us off there was Jet Swole, a track called "Specialist" from Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. 
I'm very sorry to Jet Swole. I misgendered her while uh, announcing the, the uh, track at the beginning. Actually, I did not realize that, so thank you for correcting me. I very much appreciate that, and we'll keep that in mind for the future. And, uh, yeah, good to know. If I ever do that to anybody else, let me know, and uh, I will I will definitely, definitely uh, adjust as necessary. Always. It's no problem at all. Up next, we got stuff from Moray Effect. We got more Dwelling of Duels. This one is Moray Effect, Super Mellow, Blue Monk, Viking Guitar, and Vivian Reeves. This track is called Another World from Chrono Cross. So people like their people like their Chrono Cross love. And uh, this actually this block here is all DOD. So this is the full on DOD block. <laughs> This track got 12th place, and uh, it's very delicious, very delicious, it's very nice, it's good stuff, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it, man. Keep it here, it's Nitro Game Injection.
Wow. That right there was Sybil Grace with a remix from Stardew Valley called Fall Ghost Synth. That one is really good. I really, really very much enjoyed that one. That was another one from the Dwelling of Duels. That one track got 20, 20 second place. Holy crap. How does a track, get, track that good get 20 second place? I think it just means that all the other songs were also really good. <laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> 20 second? Jeez. <laughs> how is that so low? It's because all the songs are really good. That's how. That's how it happens. Oh, man. Very nice stuff there from Civil Grace. Wow. Uh, I think she's a newcomer to DoD. I hadn't heard of her before. Really nice. And, uh, you know, Stardew Valley. It's got some nice tunes. I like it. I dig it. Before that, we had WASD or WASD. And I think they prefer WASD. But I kind of like saying WASD. You know, it's, it rolls off the tongue. But it's WASD PC cover band. They had to, of course, represent Team PC. With Unreal, that one's called Prisoner 849 Rides Again. Man, that one's really good, too. Another really good one. Like, this just keeps happening. There's just so many good ones for, for DoD last month. I'm going to have to uh, play more next week, <laughs> probably, or something. What is next week, anyway? 22nd? Okay. It's not quite, not quite Patreon's choice uh, time yet. I think that's the week after. So, yeah, next week I can play some more DoD tracks, because there were a lot of them, and there were a lot of really good ones. And I still have to play the Funk vs. Jazz month, Jazz vs. Funk month. I don't know why I didn't. The time just got away from me last month. December was weird. Things things happened, you know? A lot of things. So, we'll get to it, though. We'll get to it. And then, starting us off, there was more AFX, Super Mellow, Blue Monk, Viking Guitar, and Vivian Reeves with Another World from Chrono Cross. Some excellent Dwelling of Duels goodness there. All around. And I got some more, actually, to end up the show, so... And, uh, yeah, we're at the end of the show. It's, it's, it's a bit of a long one this week. Went a little bit over time. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Uh, I will be back next week with more good stuff more good stuff needs to happen and it and it will right here on nitro game injection because I, I i like good stuff you know i like i like to have good stuff on the show before i go though i'm going to urge you to go check out kngi.org that's where you can find all of the archived episodes of nitro game injection going all the way back to episode one from 2003 i don't recommend going back that far but you can it's possible <laughs> if you want to if you want the full NGI experience <laughs> if you want if you if you need the backstory of NGI go all the way back to episode 1 and start from there and go forward 439 episodes or 440 episodes however many it's been go go yeah go there and do that don't do that please don't do that you can skip like the first 100 safely and you'll be fine it's not a big deal <laughs> You can also head on over to patreon.com slash KNGI where you can uh, help support the show, the KNGI Network, and myself. Uh, all of your, all the proceeds there go toward keeping uh, the show going, keeping KNGI, the stream, and the uh, website up, and to uh, helping me, you know, live and eat. <laughs> so, any, any any support over there is very much appreciated and hey go check out all the artists that i played during this episode as well and support them in any way you can because i mean they deserve it without them there'd be no show you'd have to just listen to me talking and honestly nobody wants that <laughs> that's gonna do it for this edition of nitro game injection thank you everybody for tuning in this week uh i was I was kind of worried when we first started because uh, first first started the episode because things were real quiet and it seemed like things were not nobody was gonna not not, not many people were gonna get the chance to tune in this week and sometimes that happens sometimes I do a show and then like you know only a few people show up and that's okay you know that's why I put the show up afterwards for people to listen to later so it seems to work out pretty well but 
Uh, then things kind of blew up, and uh, I have quite a few listeners right now on uh, on YouTube. So hello, YouTube. YouTube has uh, bl- YouTube blew up this week. So uh, thank you for checking out the show, everybody. YouTube, if you're if you're a newcomer, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, maybe hit the subscribe thingy or check out those links that I told you about. Maybe think about it, please. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. I got two songs left to close. I actually had three songs. I'll tell you about all three of them. Why not? I was going to keep one as like a, a bonus track, but I'll tell you about it because it's another DOD entry. Uh, first up, we got a track from LJB Zero. He's back with the uh, medieval goodness. This time covering Doom 2016. And this is Rip and Tear medieval style. I like this one. It's really cool. <laughs> it makes me happy. Uh, and then after that, we got Chromatic Apparatus, a track called Beauty of Dawn from the Elder Scrolls Online. This is a, a strangely... Uh, a strange entry for DoD in that it's like not guitar-driven metal. <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, more understated than that, surprisingly. And then to close out, Bad Hairline Productions with a, another Dwelling of Duels track. From Mega Man 3, a track called Get a Weapon. This one's very silly, and I love it. So, that's going to do it for this edition of Nitro Game Injection. This has been episode number 440, I think. Hang on, let me double check. Yeah, it's 440. (laughs) And you have 440 in the books. It's January 15th, 2021. I'm Kyle JCRB, and I'm leaving. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye for now. See you next time.
You've been listening to Nitro Game Injection.